Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add in costumes and backdrops in Scratch 3.0. So in the older version of Scratch, you could choose something from the library, you could draw your own or paint your own, you could pick a file um, that's on your computer or device, or you could actually take a picture. This is for the sprites. Now over here we have the same kind of features for the backdrop or stage. Now in Scratch 3.0, it shifts some things around, so it puts those buttons all the way down here. So for the sprite, we can choose, and you can search for the sprite just like you could before um, with choosing. You could paint just like before. You could upload. However, you could also click here and do a surprise. So what this does is it just randomly selects a sprite for you, and so you have no idea what it's going to be. So the same features are over here on the backdrop. So you could also like randomly select a surprise backdrop and be like, yay, now I'm going to have a room. Woohoo! Now, um, when you're actually selecting the different sprites, when you click on it, and just scratch 3.0, one of the really cool features that they added is when you just move your mouse over it, you can actually see the different changes in the costumes. So you can see what it looks like when you cycle through them. So see all the different dance moves or see what the cat will actually do. So all you have to do is just move your mouse over. And then once you find one that you really like, like Champ 99, classic, you just simply click on it and then it adds it to your project just like that. All right, so I wanna show you one more really cool feature that you can do. So you can actually go and search. So just like before, you could actually click on the different categories, um, the different themes that were in um, the older version of Scratch, but now you can actually search for some stuff. So maybe you wanna find something that is sky and then it'll find you the sprites that are sky or in this case, the backdrop that is sky. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.